Are you being abused? Sexually abused? Mentally abused? Any type of abuse? Are you being abused? If you are, what you don't want to do, please pay attention now. What you don't want to do is go to witchcraft or go to someone and set up a spell or do any type of curse on someone. You may say that you are doing it for protection, that you are doing it because you want to hurt the people that hurt you. I have been receiving some comments and emails, so on and so on, from people who used to do witchcraft, and it never ever turns out right. Because when you curse people, when you do spells or work with demons and stuff like that, any type, any time when you involve yourself with demons, curses, spells, so on and so on, it is never going to end well for you. You believe that what you are going through is the worst that it can get. No. <laughs> Things can get much more worse. Believe me, I have contacted people who have done witchcraft and they pretty much all regret it. Because you are going to reap whatever you sow. No matter what is happening to you, no matter what type of abuse that you are going through, when you do evil back to a person, even when it was not your fault that you have been abused, when you choose to do evil toward a person, that is going to come right back to you. So if you are being abused mentally, sexually, physically, Find help. Go to a church. Talk to some people about it. Learn what you can do. Don't go to witchcraft. Don't cast any spells or curses upon people because it is going to come back to you. The things that are happening to you now, the abuse that is coming upon you now, don't hold any hatred toward those people. I am not saying that you have to be around those people, but forgive them. Because if you don't, and if you hold all that anger and hatred within yourself, that is going to come back upon you as well. Well, Kevin, I don't care. They need to pay. Okay, you are going to pay as well. Let me ask you something. On a scale 1 through 10, let's say that you are suffering at a level 8. Better yet, on a scale 1 through 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, let's say that you are suffering at a level 5. Now, that level 5 is really painful now. How would you like to increase that pain to a level eight. You would not, right? Because if a level five is painful, why would you want to go to a level eight? When you do that witchcraft stuff, placing curses on people, spells, and all of this foolishness, what is going to happen to you, your pain is going to increase. Now, I told this to some people or this one, no, I told this to some people and this one woman told me she does not care.
but yet she cares about the tiniest things, but she, she is singing that she doesn't care if everything that she is doing is going to come back to her. No matter what type of abuse that you are going through, don't turn to witchcraft. Think about it. It is demons that is within those people that are abusing you, right? So you can't say that it is God and those people that are abusing you now. It makes no sense. So it is demons that are in those people that are abusing you, whether it is physically, mentally, or sexually. It is demons. So what you are going to do or what you are planning on doing is working with demons or work with demons to pay them back or to punish them or to protect yourself. It is demons within those people that are hurting you. But you are willing to work with demons to attack them. It makes no sense. It is the demons that are your enemies. But you are willing to work with them to hurt the people that have hurt you. But it was demons within those people that influenced them to hurt you. So your enemy attacks you, then you join your enemy to attack another person. Makes no sense. I pray that makes sense there. When people do evil, it is demons influencing them to hurt you. Since you are hurt now, you don't want anyone else to hurt you, which makes sense. But what makes no sense is that you are willing to join witchcraft and place curses on people, which you need to work with demons or use demonic power to operate in witchcraft. I pray that this makes sense. It is demons that are pushing people to hurt you, but you are willing to go to that same source and find help when it is them that hurts you. Let me say this. If I put poison in your water and I come to you, I'm like, hey, I put poison in your water. Why would you come to me and ask for clean water? <laughs> I am telling you, I have placed poison in your water. But you are coming back to me asking me for clean water. Why would you even trust me? In the same aspect, that is what you are doing. The demon is getting into people to attack you. So what you do, you go to the demons <laughs> asking for help. Why would you even do that? And then you blame God for what happened to you, but it is demons that is doing that to you, that hurt you, that went into people and hurt you but you are going to the same source asking for help. It makes no logical sense. Think about that. You are going to your enemy for help. Your enemy wants to kill you, but you are going to that same source asking for help get their power, people of the occult, demons.
the more demons you get inside of you, per se, the more power that you are going to be able to operate in. Like I said, if you use demonic power, which anyone can, I believe what I can do, I serve God now, but if I was dumb enough and asked demons to come now, I believe they would come now really quickly. But I don't want demons to come by me at all. Demons want you dead. They want you cursed. They want no good thing for you. But you are calling upon demons for help and you see your life going worse and worse and worse but all you are thinking about is getting revenge at the cost of your life and demons are laughing at you because it was them. It was them that got you abused. I continue to hear this. It is so common. It is so common that I continue to hear this. Someone gets abused when they are five or four, seven, 12, 15, and then they turn right to witchcraft and then their whole life they cursing people and doing these foolish things, then they get cursed. Now they are crying out for God. Why didn't you cry out to God before? Why even go through all that stuff there? So I pray that this makes sense. You don't want to turn to witchcraft. If you are being abused, tell somebody. Go to church. You may even have to call the cops. Call the police. Run away from home. Go to your aunt house or something. Do something other than turning to witchcraft, which makes no sense. You are being attacked by demons through a person then you go to demons that have attacked you and ask them for power. But they are the ones that attacked you. Why would you go to your enemy for help when they want you dead? When they want you to destroy yourself? Let me stop here. God bless.